<clears throat> Good morning, Sagittarius, and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Utranaya, and today I'll be doing a reading for you for the week of June the 2nd to the 8th, 2024, and I'm also including the new moon in Gemini, which is occurring this week as well. And it is occurring on the 6th of June, okay? So I've already cut your decks and I've shuffled them all seven times each, utilizing the numerology of the date, June the 2nd, 2024. So let's dive right in. All right, we have the Knight of Cups and I, I'm still not, I've still not got acquainted with all of these cards. So this is a very beautiful card right here. So this is the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups is uh can be considered like the, a knight in shining armor okay and this this knight he leads with his heart meaning he can be quite emotional at times but he loves to pursue things in life and go after things that are in alignment with his heart that are in alignment with his values and uh, in alignment with his mission in life. This knight can be considered to be like the knight of the holy, uh, going after the holy grail in pursuit of the holy grail. So what is the holy grail? The holy grail can be considered what gives your life purpose. What is your north star? So you might be considering or reflecting upon these things during this week. On a normal Rider Waite deck, there is a knight and he is in the desert and he has his cup or his chalice. And he, within this desert is a stream and there's lush vegetation all around it. So this is perfect area, despite your normal thoughts of a desert not necessarily being fertile, where you are at right now is quite fertile environment for you to plant seeds because the seed was going to be able to be nourished and it is going to be able to have access to water and the right soil in order to blossom into this lotus, okay? But the seeds that you're planting should not be just any seeds. They should be in alignment with your heart. You see how she's playing this heart like it is a music instrument. And when you, when you plant these seeds that are in alignment with your values and your heart and your purpose, your life is going to start opening up like the lotus flower. You're, you're going to start blooming into your full potential. We are all being called right now to pursue things that are in alignment with our values and to shed things that are not in alignment with our values. The last four years have been very, a big catalyst for us to determine what is actually important in our life and what is not. This has been the catalyst moment as well for a lot of spiritual awakening. And within the spiritual awakening, you, you determine what is important to you and where you want to sp spend your focus and your time on. Like I mentioned in a lot of other videos, life is not about working and grinding for someone else and then dying, you know, having 15 minute breaks in your day, eating within a half an hour and going back to work, spending a little time with your family and loved ones. Most of the time that you spend is at work. Is this what life is all about? No, it's not. What is your holy grail, my dear Sagittarius? The Hierophant is next. So you are sitting on a branch and you're getting a bird's eye perspective. And you are perhaps learning. You see how there is a book here? 
The Hierophant is the Pope. And the Pope is the highest level of his domain. And on a normal Rider Waite deck, he has a crown on his head that has three levels. And the first indicates the novice. The second level indicates the apprentice. And the third highest level is master or mastery. So you are leveling up here, perhaps even spiritually. And perhaps you are looking into and teaching yourself about spirituality. And this is how you are leveling up. And because that you are opening yourself up to different knowledge, occult knowledge. Now, occult is not negative. It just means hidden or secret knowledge that perhaps you had no access to before. You have been going through a spiritual awakening here. That you are questioning what is important to your life and what isn't. You are questioning the purpose of life and the meaning of life. Becoming quite philosophical. I know I am. And I have four planets in Sagittarius. I have the moon. I have Jupiter and Uranus. What else do I have? Neptune. So perhaps you're becoming quite philosophical and pondering the meaning of life. And it is like you are being reborn, but this whole process is going to lead you to blossom. This lotus, the lotus flower is a symbol that is in philosophy and is in yoga quite some quite often. And the lotus opens and it and, it, and it's, it illustrates our the opening of our kundalini awakening or of our inner chakra system and our enlightenment. Okay? It it starts like this and it opens like that. Okay. <laughs> In yoga, there is like a mudra like this that is the lotus flower and you hold it when you do some meditations and chanting okay and it and it means your heart is opening up your spirituality is opening up and you are being called to elevate your spirituality by doing some research and teaching yourself more dive into this aspect of yourself so that you may elevate in consciousness and raise your vibrational frequency. This is also going to open you up spiritually, but psychically and um, tell your telepathic skills, your clairvoyance, your clairsentience, your clairaudience, like the, the Hierophant or the Pope, he's the intermediary, the middleman between the gods and the earthly realm. So you might find during this time that as your lotus flower opens, it's like your pineal gland is opening up within your mind. And you will start noticing that you're, you're noticing more synchronicities. Your psychic abilities are opening up and maybe your dreams are becoming quite vivid as well. Next, we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is spiritual contentment, spiritual enlightenment, basking in the energy of what you want to become, like you already have it. So you are being, you are actually quite magical at this time and your manifestations are also blossoming at this time because they are in alignment with your values especially if they are in alignment with your values you are being called to step into the energy of what you want to become as if you already have it this is pre ten of cups ten of cups is everything you want 
and you can dream of. He is not for lack. He is quite satiated off of food and drink. And he is happy. He is content. He is spiritually enlightened. And you see more blossoming imagery here uh, in the mind and behind her. You are blossoming into your full potential here. But you must lead with your heart. She's holding these by her heart as well. And you will be overflowing with abundance of all different types. Abundance is not just money. It is also time. Time to be able to use however you want, not to grind for eight to 10 or 12 hours a day for someone else's dream. Be following your own dream and spending your time pursuing it. Family, abundance of family, abundance of resources, abundance of freedom and sovereignty, abundance of knowledge, Abundance is not just money or wealth. It can be in a lot of things. And whatever you're valuing, whatever is your heart is in alignment with, you're just, your abundance in whatever domain is, is opening up and allowing you to flourish. With the Knight of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords can indicate a never-ending nightmare. Waking up, being asleep and being in a nightmare, waking up and you're also in a nightmare. It's the cycle of life, of waking up and working for someone or going to a job that you hate and it's toxic. And it's like a never-ending cycle, a never-ending nightmare where you don't even get, you're like a caged slave not being able to pursue the life that you want, not being able to lead the life that you want, your ability to flourish and your ability to blossom into your full potential is caged because you are not in alignment with your heart. You might be waking up to the fact that where you're at currently in your life is feeling, it's, it's like you're feeling like a caged animal. How can you set yourself free from this matrix of slavery, of debt slavery, of just living this daily life? The life is not about just working and dying. How can you set yourself free? On a normal Rider Waite deck, the Nine of Swords is a gentleman that is sitting on his bed with his hands in his head, waking up and there's like a nightmare. He wakes up and he, he's his life is shit. And his, his, his when he goes to sleep, it's shit. And on the bed, on the bed, there's a wooden bed with a carved out image of, of an attacker with a knife and someone and being the victim. So who are you going to be in this life? Are you going to take charge of your own life? Or are you going to be in victim mentality and allow life to happen to you? Which one are you going to be? Do not be a caged animal. Do not allow the external world to dictate what your life is going to be. Start allowing your inner lotus flower to open and utilize the skills, talents, and abilities that you have and that are emerging from this awakening of yours to free yourself from this. With the Hierophant, we have the Eight of Cups. Shedding things and moving and walking away from them that no longer serve you. If your job is not in alignment with your values and your purpose and your highest good, then you are not staying there. Okay? We have the Nine of Cups here. 
in order to get, sorry, the glare, in order to get to the nine of cups, you, you have, see how he's walking away from everything? This is the eight of cups. You need to walk away from people, French friend groups, relationship people, <laughs> situations like jobs, habits, foods that are not in alignment with your highest good, that are impeding on your ability to bloom. It might be drinking, it might be going out, it might be hanging out with certain people that you'll know. It's going to be different for everybody because this is a general reading. But what is it that can that is holding you back? Obviously, you're not going to quit your job before you find something else or plant the seeds for you to pursue something that is more in alignment. You need to start now, though. What is not resonating with you right now? What is it? Could be more than one thing. When you go through a spiritual awakening, you will be shedding a lot of things because you are, you are being birthed again. What resonated with you and what you focused on and who you hung out with might not be going on the same journey as you. And that's okay. They serve their purpose for that time. And you can leave them with gratitude and love. But you are not that person anymore. And you, you need to make space for the manifestations that you can put forth, the intentions that you can put forth during this new moon in Gemini. New moons are all about planting seeds. Okay. But you are leaving behind this. You are leaving behind this victim mentality. You are not being caged anymore, Sagittarius. You have too much to offer the world. And you're on your way to the Nine of Cups, but you can't walk away if you're caged. Then we have the Four of Cups because the universe is trying to give you a blessing here. Okay. But you cannot see it if you are in a state of fear. You cannot see it if you're in a low vibrational frequency of jealousy of other people because they have more than you. If you are coming from a place of lack, perhaps you've been waiting for opportunities for quite some time and you become complacent. But when you are in a negative mentality like this, you will be focusing on things of lack and that not, of things not working out the way that you want it to. You will miss the opportunities that are becoming available that the universe is trying to make known to you because you're focusing on things that are not making your life move forward. So stop focusing on the things because you, we need to be more flexible as well. Have your end goal, but be flexible on how you get there. The universe works in mysterious ways and it's trying to give you lots of opportunities and maybe you are not seeing them because you're so rigid about getting them a certain way. Right? If you want to be a millionaire and you're and you ask the universe to allow you to win the lottery. That's just one way you become a millionaire, but if you're focused on that and you're just playing the the lottery every week, but you're not the universe is giving you opportunities for jobs, for to establish yourself with hobbies that you like to do that maybe you can monetize, people coming into your life, giving you opportunities, but you're like I'm never going to win the lottery. But there's opportunities in all these different way areas that you might not be seeing. You need to let go of, of um, rigidity. You need to let go of the victim mentality because there's opportunity everywhere. And you need to 
you need to tap into this that you need to already know that what you seek is already yours and start just focusing on how you can develop yourself and everything will fall into place all right we are going to end off with just a motto for your week and let's see what this is. I love and accept my family exactly as they are right now. I love and accept my family exactly as they are right now. You can love and accept people in your life as they are, but you don't have to, you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to have them in your life if they don't align with your vibrational frequency, right? You can still love them and accept them but you can move away from them if they are not benefiting you in moving forward in your life. I am ready to be healed and I'm willing to forgive. All is well. If this reading resonated for you, my dear Sagittarius, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if that is something that you'd like to do. You can also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with your week and this new moon in Gemini, not only check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I am truly grateful for you spending time with me today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week and have a wonderful new moon in Gemini.